morning. It is July 17, 2021. Welcome to CBS This Morning Saturday. Masked return. Signs of slipping backwards in the fight against coronavirus appear as parts of California return to indoor mask mandates for all. And for the first time since January, infections are up in all states. The unvaccinated account for nearly all hospitalizations. Search and rescue. Crews on the hunt for survivors at the deadliest and most destructive flooding to hit Western Europe in years. Why leaders there say scenes like these are just the beginning. New revelations about President Trump's final year in office, from a potential attack on Iran to a big intelligence failure leading up to the Capitol riot. Hear what happened behind the scenes, all detailed in a new book. And Wally's world, decades after she was supposed to launch into space, this 82-year-old is getting a second chance aboard Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin. Hear Michelle's conversation with Wally Funk about why she never let her dream die, even when it seemed out of this world. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener, your world in 90 seconds. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. For the first time since January, COVID cases are rising in all 50 states. 99.5% of all the deaths to COVID are in unvaccinated people. The White House is now dealing with what it deems to be COVID disinformation. President Biden specifically took aim at social media companies. They're killing people. The federal judge just ruled that the DACA program is illegal. Immigrants currently protected are not immediately impacted. Starting the weekend with scorching temperatures. They sure are. The story all summer long has been the heat. Well, another heat dome is building right now. This heat dome stays in place until about Wednesday. Across Western Europe, catastrophic floods, swollen rivers have swept through towns and villages, destroying homes, leaving many stranded. When the flash flood came, it was a mighty torrent. Liz Marquis died at the age of 57, the rapper behind one of the catchiest songs. All that? 53-year-old Tony Hawk making his first X Games appearance in 18 years, but it was 12-year-old Guy Curry who stole the show, landing the first ever 1080 in X Games competition. <laughs> and all that matters. The iconic Eiffel Tower has reopened to the public for the first time in nine months. The couple got engaged at the very top. Love is in the air in Paris. <laughs> I don't know. A speechless. On CBS This Morning, Saturday. Olivia Rodrigo to the vaccine clinic. Very true. Olivia Rodrigo wants everyone to be happy and healthy. The pop star teaming up with Dr. Anthony Fauci for a new push to get young Americans vaccinated. If Olivia Rodrigo tells you to get vaccinated, you get vaccinated. Here's one that says, I got my first dose of the Fauci ouchie. <laughs> <laughs> this morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. The Fauci ouchie. That's the first time I've heard that one. Mine didn't hurt. Really? It hurt? I, I mean, it's a needle. It's a little needle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are all vaccinated. That's why we're all together again. Right here. Right so next to you. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> well, welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Michelle Miller, along with Dana Jacobson and Jeff Floor right here to my left. And this morning, we are going to take you to the nation's newest attraction. It has been 40 years since a new amusement park has opened in the Northeast United States. Legoland did just that, navigating through a pandemic and some controversy over its construction. We'll get a first look at the park and find out how its management is trying to balance fun with safety. Then his story might be one of the most dynamic in the history of the art world. Jean-Michel Basquiat went from basically giving his works away on the street to after his death breaking the all-time auction record for a piece of art. We will explore how his work is grabbing even more attention and influencing the current generation of up-and-coming artists. Then it's to Atlanta, where we'll catch up with farm-to-table pioneer chef Stephen Satterfield. See how he's making produce and not protein, the star of his restaurant, Miller Union. And Michelle will head out to the farm. No. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Aww. To see how veggies, what happened? I took a few bites out of a few things there, too. I don't know, just kind of lost my footing, what can I say? And then we've got some music for you. Susan Tedeschi is a stellar blues musician, and her husband, Derek Trucks, is considered one of the greatest guitar players of all time. Together, they form the Grammy-winning Tedeschi Trucks Band. We'll go to New Haven, Connecticut for a special performance just for you in our Saturday session. That and so much more is all ahead.
But we begin this morning with a new and dangerous chapter in the pandemic, alarming concerns about the sharp increase in the number of COVID cases in the U.S. For the first time since January, infections are up in all states. Some of the most populous countries or counties in California, we should say, are returning to indoor mask mandates. This as new cases over the past week surged 69 percent. Hospitalizations are up 36 percent and deaths have increased 20 26%. The Centers for Disease Control says unvaccinated Americans are driving these numbers, accounting for nearly all deaths in almost all of the hospitalizations. Michael George is here with the latest. Michael, what more can you tell us? Well, good morning, Michelle. The rise in cases is giving new urgency to efforts to get people vaccinated, especially because half of all new cases are from the fast spreading Delta variant. In some places, safety mandates that were rolled back just a month ago are now being reinstated. Have a great weekend, everybody. We leave you now with more music from Tedeschi <laughs> Trucks Band. This is Bell Bottom Loops. <laughs> Bottom blue.